Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Rick Besson. He's with the University of Kentucky Extension Entomologist there. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Joanna. Well, I'm glad you're here today because we're in the height of vacation season and those type of things. And a lot of times we see these insects pop up. That's maybe not the most popular ones to talk about, but very important. Correct, correct. I mean, and, and we are getting into the height of the vacation se season, particularly as we get closer to school starting mm -hmm. in the fall. And people are going to try and get those uh, weeks in that they can. And, you know, the, the, the whole goal of a vacation is to go off have a great time, bring back some fantastic memories, but not bring back some insects with you. That's right, right? <laughs> Especially bed bugs. Yeah, and you know, uh, when you're traveling, you're, you're gonna be staying in you know hotels and other places. And one thing we need to be mindful of is not bringing back these little critters with us. And you know, without us moving them around, that they would not get around. They, they rely on humans actually moving them to new locations. And so, you know, one of the first steps we need to think about with bed bugs is one, being able to recognize if we're in a place that might have bed bugs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm an entomologist and maybe I'm a little bit paranoid, but when I stay at a hotel, one of the first things I do before I unzip my, my suitcase is just do a, a quick one run through in, in the room. You know, put, pull the, uh, the sheets back a little bit, lift the mattress, you know, does it look clean? Or am I noticing some spots left behind by the bed bugs? And I'm, am I noticing some of those brick red bed bugs that, that, that might be down in those crevices and things like that? Yes, because I think a lot of times what we do is we get in there, we have all of our suitcases and things like that. Like I, my kids are trained now. They wait at the door until they get the all clear mm -hmm. <laughs> for mom to bring in the suitcases because that's how we take them home a lot of times. And, and really, uh, you should wait before you unzip anything. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, my, my rule of thumb when, I, when I'm staying places is, you know, when I need to get something out of the suitcase, I unzip it, I get some things out, you know. I, uh, but then when, I, when I've already taken that out, I zip it back up. I just don't leave my suitcases unzipped and open, you know, all night in, in these places. Because a lot of times they've cleaned up that area and, you know, you, it might not be super recognizable for the untrained eye, but it's still important to look and do your due diligence. Correct, correct. Now, I want to keep things in perspective as well because there are some good things about bed bugs as well. And okay, we'll, we'll, you're gonna have to educate me about this. One of the good things, <laughs> the, they, they don't transmit any pathogens of humans. That is good. You know, I, they're, they're still a huge nuisance. No one wants them. I mean, they're unwanted, but you know, they're not transmitting some life-threatening disease or something like that. So that that is a good thing about the bed bugs. Uh, so, you know, an, another thing to think about is, you know, you, you stay at a place, you wake up in the morning, it's like, boy, it feels like something was biting me all night. You know, I, I have like these mosquito bites, you know, during the night. What do you do now? Yes. And so, uh, and I've been in that situation before in some very nice hotels where, you know, I, I, I run into some bed bugs. And so uh, the one thing I think about is whatever I'm bringing out of that hotel is potentially infested with bed bugs mm -hmm. and I do not want to bring them home I do not want them to get established in my home my wife will probably throw me out <laughs> so what, what you know once when I was uh, staying in a hotel during the summer you know when I came back I just left my suitcase in my car with the windows up for a week and just let it get hot bed bugs are very very susceptible to high temperatures it gets above about 140 degrees and, and you're gonna de-infest that material uh, pretty well. So that was one way. Another way is when, when you get back, uh, immediately take that material and put it into a hot dryer. And, and the same same sort of thing. You, you want to uh, make sure you de-infest uh, the, the clothing and other materials you, you bring back. Yeah, and that's really good advice. Now, is there a website or something that people can go on? Is that updated regularly or is that a good source? Well, we have a really good fact sheet okay. uh, on our UK Entomology Departmental uh, website and it was just updated last winter on bed bugs and bed bug management. So it talks no, not only about traveling, but if you do end up with them in your house, how you go about uh, getting them out of your house, get, getting rid of the bed bugs. 
Yeah, because it does alarm people if they find one in their home and they bring them into the office. If you're unsure whether that's a bed bug, you can always bring it to the extension office and we'll be happy to ID that for you and get you that publication. So appreciate the information and everybody stay safe, make memories, don't bring home bed bugs. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.